Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 Welcome to IIT and Skate classes. So we are discussing Gate 2023 Aerospace Engineering uh, Detailed Solution. So in this session, we'll be discussing about the question asked in space uh, dynamics. So there are uh, there are total three questions asked from space dynamics, which is like usually more than um, previous years. Uh, in uh, most of the years, either they ask uh, uh, one question, but this time three questions. So one is for one mark and there are two questions for two marks. So the total weightage is five marks. So the first question from Space Dynamics is question number 24 and it is MCQ. So this question number 24 uh, is uh, one of the, uh, you know, unusual question, one of the unusual question uh, from uh, space dynamics and this question is from uh, flight vehicle entry you know trajectory so what it says which one of the following figure figures represent the qualitative variation of absolute deacceleration with altitude h for a space vehicle undergoing the ballistic entry into the earth atmosphere so there are four options given. So uh, option A, option B, option C, and option D. So for me in this question, nothing much to explain. The answer is answer is option D. And for that reference, we can follow. Uh, you need to uh, go through the entire lecture of this. Um, this is from uh, Maryland University. And usually we don't cover this uh, in uh, gate syllabus. But uh, they have asked this question. So you can see here the planetary entry to acceleration comparison is given for a different, uh, um, you know, planets. So for Earth, you can see uh, this is the curve for Earth. And you can see the option, uh, option, option D is the matching. Um, uh, none of other options are the, you know, uh, trajectory uh, for the, uh, space vehicle entry with the okay so option d is the correct now if you guys want to learn more now you guys can refer uh, this pdf okay and uh, this is one of the snap from this maryland university lecture usually in space dynamics we cover orbit trajectory orbit trajectory okay and that is in uh, uh, project trajectory okay so that is part of gate uh, syllabus so these questions may be uh, asked uh, further from orbit uh, trajectory now let's move to next question uh, so this is one of the very easy question and uh, it is usually covered by everyone whoever cover space dynamics so what's it what this is and this is an NAT question and it is for two marks okay so what it says the universal gravitational constant is given as 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square for a planet of mass 6.6.4169 6 into 10 to the power 23 kg and radius uh, Double three nine zero kilometer. The escape es the escape velocity is in kilometer per second. So guys, we know the escape velocity, okay? And uh, escape velocity is given by v escape velocity is given by under root two g m by <coughs> r, okay? From Earth surface. So guys, here everything is given g is given as 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 um, newton meter square per kg square and uh, mass of the earth is given as 6.4169 into 10 to the power 23 kg and uh, radius of 
अर्थ इज गिवन एज थ्री थ्री नाइन जीरो किलोमीटर नाउ वन मिस्टेक मेनी पीपल हैव डन when we substitute value in this question we need to convert all the units in si so what i mean so when you substitute here values it will be 2 into uh, 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into 6.4169 into 10 to the power 23 upon 3390 so when you substitute <coughs> all these um you will get the answer as 5024 meter per second but they asked a question in answer in <coughs> kilometer second and round off to one decimal place so that means in kilometer per second it is 5.024 kilometer per second and in round off it is 5 kilometer 5.0 kilometer per second now guys here many people what here here it is 10 to the power 3 uh, in kilometer it is given so we need to uh, substitute earth radius in <coughs> meters so it is 3390 into 10 to the power 3 meters guys now some people what they do mistake this is 10 to the power minus 11 this is 10 to the power 23 and this is 10 to the power 3 so you will get square root of 10 to the power 9 in now some people have written square root of 10 to the power 9 is 10 to the power 3 which is wrong okay so this mistakes many people have done so guys don't do this first you multiply and do okay so the answer will be 5. 024 km per second or 5 km per second so this question is basically as per the official paper this question as per official paper is question number question number 62 yes yeah so the another question from space dynamics is question number 63 question number 63 question number 63 so let's read the question what it says a satellite is in a circular orbit around earth with a time period of 10 to the power uh, sorry uh, with a time period of 90 minutes The radius of Earth is six three seven zero kilometer. Mass of the Earth is five point nine eight into ten to the power twenty four kg, and the universal gravitational constant is six point six seven into ten to the power minus eleven newton meter square per kg square. The altitude of the satellite above mean sea level is. So here, what is unknown? H is unknown altitude so guys this is like first time they gave a calculative question from uh, uh, time period okay earlier most of the time the questions were for velocity re uh, related uh, question circular velocity related but uh, uh, this also we have given in our notes so for a circular orbit the time period is given by 2 pi a by v now what is the a here a is the radius of circular uh, circle <coughs> circular orbit from earth center so what it is a will be r plus h r is the radius of earth and h is the altitude okay now what is the velocity v is the velocity of the circular orbit and it will be what it will be under root gm by r plus h so guys here t is given and h is unknown so let's substitute everything here and t is given in 90 minutes t is given guys as how much 90 minutes so always guys again make sure you convert all the unit in si so it it should be 90 into 60 second okay now when we substitute what we get 
90 into 60 will be 2 pi r plus h upon under root <coughs> gm so g value is given m value is given gm by r plus h now guys <coughs> here if you square so and then resuffle so what you'll get 90 into 60 square into gm upon 4 pi square equal to r plus h cube okay now from guys here let's substitute the value of g and uh, m so it is 5400 square upon 4 pi square and uh, then the value of g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 then mass of the earth is 6 point mm, mass of the earth is 5.98 into 10 to the power 23 guys and then it will be cube root 1 by 3 and this is equal to r plus h now what will be the h h will be this whole term minus r so 5400 square into 6.67 into 5.98 into 10 to the power 12 upon 4 pi square cube root minus the radius of earth so the radius of earth is given as how much 6370 kilometer so it is 6370 into 10 to the power 3 and then we divide it by 1000 whole so you will get answer in kilometer so the answer will be 284 kilometer 284 kilometer so <clears throat> you can see this question was not tough the only thing many people have done again calculation mistake the thing is see radius of earth is in kilometer but when you solve this quantity you will get in meter so first we converted radius of earth in meter and then divided divided by thousand so we got our answer in kilometer and that is what arc. so the answer here 284 kilometer so that's all from space dynamics guys and uh, uh, thank you all and uh, we have done the complete solution for gate uh, 2023 paper in detail and igc is only till now only institute who have shared the only institute in india institute in india who has shared uh, uh, answer key for gate aerospace as well as detailed solution so that's how we are fast furious and um, we are always close to 99 percent accurate you know in providing the uh, gate aerospace answer key okay now our upcoming badge is uh, like our our uh, gate 2024 uh, live classes live interactive classes gate 2024 live interactive live <coughs> interactive classes is starting from tomorrow Feb 19 uh, so those who are interested can still join our classes and the igc is uh, uh, igc is a team based institute and that's how we are different from others and we do everything professionally we teach mathematics from front tomorrow is a first class which will be of mathematics around 70 hours and some people say just watch mathematics in youtube 
we also teach uh, general aptitude very well and you can say see many um, general aptitude video by igc on our youtube channel aptitude uh, we cover very well and you know uh, in gate uh, <clears throat> 20 uh, 23 uh, the result will be a tough result because there are many msqs which are confusing as well as some lengthy entity so the result may be better than 2017 but it will be like uh, between 2021 and 2020 okay so guys those who have prepared well, they will get uh, for sure uh, good GET results, but they may not get expected marks in GET. And again, IGC will rock because already our students have secured 65 plus marks and still um, uh, some updates are pending. So, and there are many people from IGC who have got 50 plus marks. And we are starting our post guidance sessions from uh, from Monday, Monday. So Monday is uh, 20th Feb. So you guys can join our post gate guidance sessions also. And we are the only institute in India who has been providing proper post gate guidance from last three four years uh, on YouTube channel as well. Uh, many videos are available. So thank you all for watching this session. And you guys can always follow us on our Telegram channel where we share all the uh, you know latest updates and uh, anyway you guys have subscribed us on youtube channel can share our work to your juniors and friends uh, so thank you all